So you looked at some uh, sanders from Rupees. I did. Rupus sanders, uh, and these are pneumatic, so we're changing over from cordless to now pneumatic. Uh, and these are the RH353, the RH356, and the RH359. And basically what these are is it's uh, sanders that are kind of dialed in to really do some fine work, whether it's fine woodworking, uh, whether it's your, you know, high-end car, uh, you know, resurfacing, repainting, uh, even your, you know, detailing, things like that. And basically, you've got a three-millimeter orbit, a six-millimeter orbit, and a nine-millimeter orbit. So that's your, basically, your, your 353, 356, 359. And Clint, we did a little bit of that when we were making these tables. Yeah. And, and really what makes a difference is, listen, we've, we've probably all used those, you know, 59 $89, $99, you know, sanders that, you know, it's just a sander. It's a dual action sander or whatever, but this kind of steps up that quality. Um, so these are a dual action sander. They're dual action, you know, pneumatic DA sanders. Uh, and they're six inch or, you know, some people will call that 150 millimeter, but it's a six inch sander. And so that nine millimeter is what you're going to use to do kind of that first rough cut, if you will. Right. And that's where you're taking you know, the majority of your material you're taking off with that nine millimeter orbit. That's where you're leveling out, that's where you're easing the edges, that's where you're doing all this stuff to get down, get material off really fast. Exactly, so wood, if you're filling that deep grain, you're knocking all that down with that nine millimeter, say maybe 100 grit, 120 grit sandpaper. And then once you get, say, 80% 80, 80 of your uh, surface level, if you will, that's where you're gonna step down to the six millimeter orbit and say, you know, 220 grit paper. And then again, when you get into that real fine stuff, say 400 and, and, and finer, that's when you're gonna use that three millimeter orbit, that smaller orbit, it's gonna do that finer sanding and actually level that out and, and make that a really nice surface. These were great sanders, really were really smooth power. So, you know, you could put it down on the surface, you know, push the, the, the throttle all the way, if you will, uh, with 90 PSI and it didn't wanna jump out of your hands. It just real smooth ramp up. So did a good job of transferring the energy to the material? Exactly that's right. That's a big deal. And it wasn't it, abrupt. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a huge deal with sanders that I've noticed, that, yeah. you know, whether it's, you know, pneumatic or whether it's, uh, uh, you know, brushless, you know, electric or whatever, or, or, or corded, uh, cordless rather with battery. I mean, you just, right. you want a tool that really transfers all that work and all that energy, not in your arm, yeah, into the workpiece. Yeah, you, you want the sander doing the work. You want yep. the sander and the sandpaper doing the work, not you having to fight that. Yeah. Uh, and these are available in a, you know, with the dust extraction port or without, they, I think they call it a central vac or without, but basically one of them comes with a dust e uh, extraction port where you can actually hook up your dust, dust extractor or you can get it without. And they run in about the $300 range.